All right. So first of all, let's look at this, all right? We t I talked about two terms, correct? And when you had two terms, you automatically want to look for the difference of two squares. And remember, the difference of two squares says a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b. So this looks very similar because I see 16 I know is a square number, right? That's 4 squared, right? So I could write that as minus 4 squared, where b equals 4. That one's pretty easy. I know that's a squared number. But is x to the fourth a squared number? What would you say then, Adar? If it is a squared number, then what, how can you rewrite it then so it looked more like a square number? x squared squared, right? Because remember, when you raise an exponent to an exponent, do you add or multiply? You multiply. <laughs> You're going to multiply. So when you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So that's why that becomes to the fourth. It's not because you're adding them. It's because you're multiplying them. Now, however, though, do you guys see how I rewrote this as a square number? So therefore, a equals x squared. So now I rewrote it into this format. So I know what a is and I know what b is. So the factored form of this is x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 4. Got it? OK, so even if we have higher power um, exponents, we can still make it work. 